Give us your perspective on killing a fish. You took nine years. It's a record, yeah. yes, but there are a lot of naysayers out there. They don't believe in this kind of stuff. Right. Um, it's not that we're going to be able to convince them that what we did yeah. is okay. Sure. But what we did, it's okay for us because of your yeah. perspective, which is? Well, I mean, I think that, I mean, look, you know, I, when it comes to killing a fish, something that I try to be sensitive about is... How, how many fish am I killing? Um, and I've killed, that's not the first tarpon that I've killed. I mean, I've killed fish. When I first moved down here, I, the, one of the first tarpon I hooked got sharked. I killed that fish. I see it happen pretty regularly. Um, there is a certain amount of mortality associated with fishing in general. And tarpon are fish that are pursued by sharks and, and they are also, they, they, you know, they give in sometimes. You, you let a fish go and it doesn't swim off great. Um, I mean, the, the point that I would, you know, make about killing a tarpon for the sake of a world record is, you know, I fished for nine years for that record. I probably hooked, I don't know, thousands of bites. Um, and I remember I was with Steve and Jason one time and it was pouring rain and we had like essentially no chance of hooking a tarpon. So Steve brings us to a place where there like might be a tarpon, which for Steve means a, a pretty good shot at hooking one. But we're not seeing very many and it's just pouring down rain and it's winds howling and I throw in this big black fly out there trying to, you know, farm one out of this deep little cut and I hook a fish and it comes out of the water and it's probably like 80 pounds and no one on the boat says anything. I just point the rod at the fish, tighten up, break it off, sit down, you know, and I open up the hatch, I get out a new fly and I put it back on and I get the thing rigged up and I'm standing back up there on the bow. And that's a fish that we would have fought if we'd been fishing on 16. So the argument to me is if you, if you disagree with killing fish, period, then anytime you're fishing for them, they might die. And I'm putting the number of fish that died in our pursuit of that world record over that period of time, not against how many we would have killed if we hadn't done anything at all, if we'd sat at home and watched Netflix. But I'm putting that number against the number we would have killed if we had just been fishing for fun on 16 or 20 and tried to catch some fish. Right. Well, and, take a, also take a look at how many fish are going to be killed this year by sharks at the Bahia Honda Warm Absolutely. Hatch. I mean, 100%. Right. If you're fishing at Bahia Honda Bridge, those, you're, killing fish. you're killing fish. And I, I think that we all have an obligation to do things not only that benefit us, but that if everyone else did, it would be beneficial for the fish. And I think in the case of Lightline Tarpon Records, if everyone was fishing on six pound, I don't think very many fish would die <laughs> because every fish that was under, I mean, let's go back to before we caught a 140. Every fish that was under 90 pounds or 100 pounds would be broken off immediately. So I think I can extrapolate from you know, if, if what For we sure. were doing and we apply, if everyone else was doing it, it would be okay. And I, I don't think, and when I say it would be okay, it would kill fewer fish. But I think people um, are looking at it, well, this is a proactive murder. Yeah, or a proactive death with a gaff, and you sure, yeah, and and that's that's true. But I think the um, the difference is, it doesn't make for me. There is no difference if I if I go to a place and I know there's sharks there, and I hook a fish, and that fish either dies while it's hooked, or at some point afterwards by a shark because it can't you know swim fast enough away. I still killed that fish. I mean, premeditated murder, murder one manslaughter, someone's dead at the end of all those transactions. Then it doesn't really matter to me if if someone has an excuse or not. This is like the, you know, Purdue Pharma thing. Mm -hmm. Like, did you did you right. purposely make this thing that was just like heroin or did, were you just too stupid? Does it, I don't care. I don't think, I doubt that anyone does. Um, and I think it's a similar kind of thing. It, it's convenient to say, well, you know, I would never do that. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's fucked up that you're killing a fish. But, um, you know, to me, honestly, like knowing how many fish 100% did not die, none of those fish we fought for, for that long died. There's no way. Those things were strong. Trust me, they were strong. Right, right. Um, did we interrupt them? Did we really kind of like, you know, mess them up? Yeah. But those, those things, I mean, you know, if you, if you take a, a, a brisk walk for 12 hours. You're going to be tired, but you're not going to die. die. Yeah. Right. And I think that, uh, again, I, I think that it's very difficult 
for for people to understand what would have happened otherwise. Like had we committed those same number of hours and time and and you know those days fishing to just going out and fishing and having fun and catching tarpon and you know having just a regular charter. Um, there's no question in my mind that not as many would have died, but instead many more. Right. And it's it's a difficult metric for people to really wrap their brains around. But the people having, who fish a lot, it, big fish, they will understand. Yeah, but I, I think that, I mean, look, I don't I don't wish anybody harm if they disagree with killing a fish for a record. I mean, on some level, I disagree with it too. Um, it, it is it is a difficult byproduct. But I think that to to turn this into a like us versus them kind of thing, it, it's it's difficult because it further fractures the community. Um, and I think at the end of the day, like if I thought that that what I was doing was doing harm to the population in a way, I actually think that fishing for that record was meant that fewer fish died, because like I said, every fish that was under a hundred pounds right before we caught that fish. We had a fish that that we, would have been a record. That would have been a record, and we didn't. We did, and, and honestly, if we'd been fishing on sixteen, we would have been. You know, we would have fought that fish. Probably gone back in there, hooked the one we we would have caught them both. And even at I think at the lower end of the spectrum, um, catch and release mortality is somewhere around like five percent. And if I if I look at the number of fish we hooked over the years we were fishing on six pound, the number of fish that we subdued to the point where they wouldn't survive was zero. Right. Um, we did have a, a failed gaff attempt at a fish that may or may not have made it. But still, that's nine years of fishing with with a good maybe angler and a, and a top guide and, and you know, two maybe, I mean, let's be generous and say three. Yeah. But that's, I mean. That's nothing. You know, and, and like I said, I mean, I, I, I don't look at it as any different when I fish in a place and a shark eats a fish that I hooked. I killed that fish. I mean, you, I can say all I wanted, that, well, the shark did it and my finger, I didn't mean for that to happen, but that fish is dead because of me. Mm -hmm. And just because I didn't intend that doesn't mean that I didn't do it. And I think that the, the conversation has, has shifted toward people saying, well, you know, I wouldn't do that and you're killing fish. And you say, well, kind of, but not really. I mean, we're not out there, like, it's not a very, like, you know, death intensive undertaking. I mean, it is, it is what it is. You are killing a fish, but right. there's no, there's no premeditation about it. You're not, I mean, you're not, I mean, there is, sorry, there is enough premeditation that you know what you're doing. Right. Um, and, and like I said, I wish that people understood that when, when these things were brought up because it, it's just not, I, like I said, I'm, I'm quite sure that we killed fewer fish for fishing for that record. Oh, for sure. Yeah.